It was truly a horrible, horrible thing. Such a sad incident that I can't get it out of my mind. <laughs> In this life, to live means only to suffer and feel pain. I refuse to forget it. I absolutely mustn't forget it. It is for that very reason that I'm writing this. In memory of a simple tanaki. When I first met him... The truth is, I'm a Tanaki. He mumbled it, and I didn't know how to respond. I changed into a human, and now I can't ever change back again. Huh? Uh, have you met him yet, Raccoon Dog? You mean, the Tanuki? The boss picked him up from somewhere. He's been with us for quite some time now. They keep calling him Tanaki, but I'm not so sure about that. The word around here is that he's the bastard child of some nobleman. He's a very nice Tanaki. I like him. <laughs> Oddly enough, Ogina joined up with a puppeteer troupe that she had known quite well. My first thought was that their next target was one of the players in the troupe. Yes, at first I was merely curious. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but isn't it ironic? A Tanaki with the Shibayamon players? You're quite knowledgeable, which you'll need to be if you plan to write the 100 stories. Unlike the common tales of kappas and monster cats, most people haven't heard the story of Shibaya Mount Tanaki. It's always been my hobby. Well, of course I know it. My having a name like this. I got teased about it all the time when I was a little boy. The troupe was called the Shibaimon Players. Its leader had the same name as in the original legend of the Shibaimon Tanaki. That one tells of a Tanaki who loved plays, transformed into a human in order to see one, and was eaten by dogs as a result. The funny thing was that this troop also apparently had a Tanaki in it. A Tanaki who changed into a person, just like in the original story. I am a Tanaki. Tanuki who should not be allowed to live. Is it wrong that I still want to live? Even though life itself is certainly painful. The Tanuki was kept in a cage. The cage in this case was an extravagantly designed prison cell. Perhaps my fleeting glimpse of him led me to sympathize with his plight. Isn't that a little cruel? No need for you to get so angry about it. Who wouldn't get angry about that? Seeing a man all chained up like an animal. You know, my friend, for a man who spends his time thinking up riddles, you jump to conclusions far too easily. In the end, a tanuki is a wild animal, and wild animals need to be chained up. But that's... Uh, uh, who made that sound? What you hear is the tanuki, but he's usually much quieter than he is now. 
You heard me howling last night. I'm embarrassed about that. Sometimes I have no memory of the previous nights. Perhaps I turn into a Tanaki when that happens. I really don't know. Play with me, Mr. Tanaki. Master Shibaimon is going to scold you, Miss Tay. He's told you to stay away from me, hasn't he? Yeah, but Grandpa's rehearsing now, Mr. Tanaki. So it'll be all right. Oh. So the Riddler wishes to hear of the Tanaki's past. I have to warn you, it's not a pleasant story. Those rumors that I'm the bastard son of a nobleman are quite true. They say you will be his substitute! <laughs> That's right. I came into this world as a substitute for a certain individual, not for myself. The Shogun who has recently been enthroned has a weak heart indeed, my child. The healing Buddha said he would die at a very young age. If that happens, as you share the blood that flows within him and look just like him, you would have to become the new Shogun. Do you understand, my child? I would become the Shogun? I accepted the life of a substitute without any question. I was never allowed to go outside and play. Instead, I was kept inside the palace, studying the role of Shogun day after day. What comforted me back then were the plays performed by the Shibayaman players, who would come by once in a while to entertain. The Shogun has produced an heir? But then what will happen to me? What will become of me now? Stories of noble bastard sons and tanakis who turn into people are quite common in this world. Yeah, that's true, but still, the individual stories are usually separated. When they're combined like this, it's unusual. The vital point here seems to be your sympathy for him. What do you mean? Well, the ease with which your heart goes out to others is proof of your basic kind nature, Mr. Author. Some might see that as being a bit naive. Oh, enough of this. Leaving? It's very late at night. Why not spend the night here? Samurais who kill for no reason are common in this area. That doesn't mean I'll run into one of them. I'm out of here. Why didn't I realize it then? That was just his usual way of warning me. He was simply telling me not to get so emotionally attached to the Tanaki. Huh? Am I lost? Better stay put for a bit. Huh? <laughs> 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 out of those heavy chains huh even after everything that happened i still believed deep in my heart that the tanaki wasn't the killer oh the tanaki last night he carried on for a bit but eventually he became calm and quieted down we need to move to another location can you help me with these things so the killer struck again huh well it's certainly dangerous but I heard we could have a really sweet time on the next street over. Lots of women. <laughs> you raccoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I remember he ran back to his home really, really fast. My grandpa had a very scary look on his face when he passed by him. The killer is traveling with my company, you say? You shouldn't say such absurd things to me like that. You're the one who saw the killer twice and lived to tell about it. You look suspicious to me. Is that a threat, then? Think what you will. No human is behind those killings. Not even the worst human could do that. Not any human I know. Hmm. Nobody was talking. They turned their eyes from the truth. So I had no choice but to look into it myself. 
I had to find out what had really happened that foggy night. It's nearly time now. Right. Hello there, Mataichi. So what are you doing here? Well, I wanted to come and see the Tanaki that everyone's been making such a fuss about. Yeah, right. You probably heard something from Ogin and came all the way out here to make fun of me. What you wish to know, Mr. Author, is whether that young samurai is a Tanaki or a human. And if the killings are the work of the Tanaki, a Tanaki in human form would split its victim in half vertically in order to devour its fresh liver. <laughs> ah, wait, but you knew that already, didn't you? Still, it's a well-constructed story he's spun, assuming he's human. If he's human... Someone's coming. Huh? Shibaru! <laughs> 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 Darn it! Gone! I lost him! <laughs> Little Tay? <laughs> Master Samurai, wait! Master Samurai, don't do this! Master Samurai! <laughs> <laughs> No, Master Samurai, don't you know me? Whoops, watch it there, kid. Nagamini, it's you! <laughs> Mr. Arthur, I hate to say this, but... No, I didn't want to listen. Shibaimon and the rest of his players all knew the truth from the beginning. That the young samurai was the monster responsible for all these murders. Knowing that, they still unchained him and set him loose. What was once a young man who dreamed of a future in your troop has now simply become a bother. And as a small bonus, someone investigating the killing showed up here as well. Uh, what do you mean? That I'm the bonus? I'm saying they let him loose because they knew you'd be coming to check things out today. Well, you turned out to be good bait in the end, Mr. Arthur. He's crying? A man who murdered many innocent people? Who murdered sweet little Tay? You want to know the truth? The truth about what he is, what he's become? I don't know what to do. Even if he was the one behind it all, how do I tell Shibayamon that Tay's been killed? <gasps> Hey. <laughs> well, you're as slow as ever, I see. You, Ogin? Don't look so surprised. What is the puppeteer's specialty? At that moment, I understood it all. Mataichi and the others had come to kill the Tanaki. It was their plan from the very start. I see. You've done a fine piece of investigation. It all happened long ago. We were trying to hunt down a wicked Tanaki because he used to sneak into our camp and ruin our tools and leftover food. It became a serious problem for the troop. What we found in the Tanaki trap was that crazed samurai on the run. <coughs> yes, I'd heard the story, how the Shogun had finally produced an heir. With the dream of his replacing the Shogun now ended, so too ended our dream. The dream of our modest troupe becoming royal performers. Can you blame me for feeling like I'd been tricked by a tanuki? I couldn't just leave him to his sad fate. He came to us in need of help, after all. <laughs> but if anyone ever learned of it, the troupe would be broken up. For taking him in, our lives were at risk. That's why we decided to raise him as a tanuki. Just a simple tanuki. <laughs> What should we have done, you may ask? Done with this poor madman who lived a tortured existence. And so you... you just let him loose? All 
I did was let a tonicky out into the fields, nothing else. If he'd lost his human heart, then perhaps he really was always just a beast. I'd rather think that way. Huh? <gasps> it's Tay. It happened shortly after we got here. We tried, but we couldn't save her. It can't be. A Tanaki who kills for no reason must be put to death for those sins which he's committed. He must be put to death. <laughs> Let me, please. Let me do it. Let me be the one. You, Arthur? You couldn't do it. He's not a man. He's a tonicky, right? <laughs> That's right, Master Samurai. You need to become a tonicky. A real one. I hear that Lady Hachisuka is apparently a huge fan of the theater. The panic about the serial killer seems to have kept people away. If we can find a patron, we might regain some of the status we used to have as court players. <sighs> Come on, let's watch it from here! <laughs> You'll leave this life with Mother, won't you? <gasps> Mother! <laughs> yes, you now know everything. The young samurai there poisoned his mother to save his own life. I tell you, if we have no role to play anymore, we have no reason left to live. You'll come with me, won't you, my child? I will. I promise. The poison was in my sake cup, but not in my mother's cup. Why? Why did you do it? Did the Shogun say he'd spare you if you killed me? <laughs> I, I thought, thought we, we would both, both die together. together. If only I hadn't given you birth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tonicky, what's huh? wrong? Huh? <laughs> I thought that you were... that you were, were... dead. I thought that I had killed you, Tay. Yes, that's right. You killed me, Mr. Tonicky. <laughs> you cut me in half. <laughs> no! <laughs> Tay! Yes, it's all true! I killed her! I killed her! I killed her! I had to kill, or they'd all kill me! So, so I did it over and over and over! Is that why you keep killing? Slicing them in two? Okay! No, don't run away! I won't kill you! I won't kill you! You're a coward, Tanaki! Show your true form! No, stay back! Stop it! Stop it! I'm a... A Tanaki! Isn't that what you said? Now reveal your true self to us, Mr. Tanaki. I'm not a Tanaki! Stop saying that! I'm not! You're a Tanaki! That's why you kill! Why you murder people! Why you eat their livers! If you commit your crimes as a Tanaki, then it's only just that you must die as a Tanaki! Ah, yes. 
step off the path of righteousness and you become trapped in the depths of sin. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. I thought Mother was going to kill me, but I'm still alive. I'm still alive after all these years. I truly believe that if I could kill Mother, then she could just as easily kill me this time. I was so afraid. Does that explain why you kept killing people your whole life? Do you really find it so wrong to live as something you're not your entire life as I have? No, except that you're already dead. Your body may still be alive, but your soul is something else. If you wish to die, then you should take your own life. But you did not choose that path. Instead, you took the lives of many others before killing yourself. That is your true sin. Impossible! He really was a Tanuki? Tay! Huh? Tay was killed a long time ago. You never knew. It was all the evil curse of a Tanaki. <laughs> Is it really so wrong to live your life? as something you're not, to always be living a lie? Enough already. Uh. If you understand that. Exactly. I'll never forget about him. The Tanaki that I killed. I'll write the whole story down before I forget, while the pain and heartbreak are still fresh. It's true, I am a Tanaki. In memory of a simple Tanaki. To the next world. We commit thee. Wind turns, whisper soft and sweet. Though there's not a cramp of a breeze. Moonlight dancing on the garden wall as a gently drift through the tree. This perfect night While all of the world Lay sleeping Find us here As we feel the moment of love Draw The dawn. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. If you head to the west in Kyoto, you reach a place of ruthlessness where you will find Genba Sasayama, who lost his wife with no place to go. Feelings of grief lead to a woman's corpse. Next time on Natsuhiko Kyogoku's Requiem from the Darkness, Katabira Crossroads. To the next world we commit thee. Ah! 